Hello, 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 everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm sure you can tell today it is a chilly day for me where I am. And I am not at all about to play around with the cold. So I have got my trusted sheep on my head, you know, nice and woolly, nice and warm, nice and comfy. Making sure that I keep myself snugly today. How is everybody doing? Let me pull up the chat. Uh, here we go. Itai Beat. Hello, hello. Mati Matthias Kong Kongsmark. Kongsmark. Bezek. What? Oh, Berserk is not a QT. <laughs> wow, hello. I, 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 I must say, I look forward to actually attempting to pronounce some of the names of the people who are on the stream. Rari, that's a nice, easy, familiar name. How are you doing? Vladimir Ghana. Sophia Clary, welcome. Thank you for the compliment. Z Zeter Knightson. I've never seen the letter T immediately following the letter Z or Z. Hello. Thank you very much for your kind words. Le Champs. Hello, hello, hello. Leonardo Mogolon. WP. Hello from Venezuela. Hello from South Africa. Calum Valo. Dam Damit. Damita, Damita, Damita X. I don't know. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Sami Mbega. Hello, hello. Another familiar name. Welcome, welcome. El Marinero Mascu Muscula. That's a powerful name. That's that just sounds like a powerful name. Hello, Twenty Tem. Radoslaw. Radoslaw. Wow. If I try and pronounce your 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 second name there, I th I fear I will butcher it. Frankie Mon, another familiar one. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Luciano Elosegui from Para from Uruguay, from Uruguay. Mark Platapus. Hey, fairly simple name to pronounce. Guru Chan, right? Jeez, I could go on the whole day. Mr. Jester Maroc, another fa another popular name. Welcome. Ah, there we go. Hello from Belgium. Dimitri Fokart. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome from Belgium. You know what? I forgot to actually tweet about the stream today. So let me quickly put something up on Twitter live right now come on and say hi if you can i'm usually more organized than this but today i completely completely forgot where's the smiley face let me put a little smiley face whoops let's get rid of that and i just need to get the link i can get that from there and stick that in and live right now come on and say hi if you can yeah let me just rephrase the life night right now with hashtag river valley and then i can put a hashtag city skylines at the end to get the some um, notice and tweet tweet cool the tweet is out let's return back to chat shall we Hello from Brazil, Miguel Luiz, the first name that I saw. Hello, hello. Another hello from Brazil, Fred Overgame. Luciano Elosegui. Hello from Paraguay. Hello from South Africa. Somebody is all the way in Seattle, USA. Nice. Hello. Dolomite 13 Gaming. Sweet. Aria, Aria, is it Aria or Aria? It's like Aria from Game of Thrones, 
from India. Hello, welcome. Swedish person, Patrick Javelov. How are you, the best player? <laughs> Comet Lolo, if you're referring to me, I am well. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind words. You know, Aria, every single Saturday, half past one in the morning, you're there watching. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for making the time to be here with us today. All right, everybody. So today, I, I had said in the last stream that... We're going to put a little tennis court at the back here for these wealthy people of this town. So we're definitely going to do that. Stick a little tennis court at the back there. And I, I was looking at this map. Yes, well, not yesterday. It's actually today, this afternoon, right? I heard of the stream today. And I was looking at this area, right? And I'm not too happy with it. Hey, I'm... It's not sitting well with me at all. Um, it, it 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 doesn't it doesn't seem to fit with the sort of place that I see this area being. Like I look at these houses, right? And they look old. They're small. They're cramped. They kind of dirtyish. And it's the type of vibe that I want to try and capture here in. The river valley but these houses here this little block of houses here just seem very very out of place the road here is just so boxy it's 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 not inspiring me to build you know it's not inspiring the look that i thought i would have in this sort of place so Right now, I'm leaning very heavily at deleting all of this and us redoing it. We will keep these houses, right? These houses are fine. I think to have a nice small area within the town that has some really wealthy people, I think is, is quite good. But just across from there, these just are not sitting are not sitting well with me so let me know what you think i'm i'm i really want to get rid of them to me it's just they're completely out of place so yeah that's one thing that i'm planning i don't know if i'll do that in this stream because in this stream what i want to do is we will start with the tennis court back here as best we can and then i actually want us to jump out of town we're going to go way out in the desert and we're going to start one of our unique boats in the area. And I suppose you can start guessing what that unique boat is until we get to it. But this was a unique boat that was suggested by somebody. So I hope they're still on the stream. If they're on the stream, we're definitely naming that unique boat after them keep you in suspense for a little bit longer let's see let me just say a few more hellos if you don't mind because i see people are from all over the world hey eh? matthias Kontmark from denmark hello mark platypus you are from london canada that's interesting is that a place in canada called london or is that a place in london called canada which one is it Either way, welcome, welcome. I'll try and find your response to under, to see where. Looks like the whole world is represented here. Hey, Dimitri, so true, hey? You've got to love it. You've got to love it. Okay, so Luciano, I just gave you an idea of what I think we'll be doing today. Miss Va Va Merdam, Va Merdam from Netherlands. I'm so sorry if I've butchered your name. Welcome, welcome. For sure, Aria, Aria. I really don't know how to pronounce your name. Is it is it Aria like Aria from Game of Thrones? If you've seen Game of Thrones, or is it Aria? Um, hey, am I centered in the camera? I didn't actually check that. I hope I'm properly centered. Which way should I be? Yeah, there we go. I think that's better. 
comet from Paris, from Paris, 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 Paris. I don't know. Alf, Alparok, Alparak, Alfrak. Welcome, welcome. Watching from Indonesia, Andres Setiawan. Oh, I feel like I'm doing so bad with these names. I'm so sorry, but I will keep it. I'll keep trying. I will keep trying every single time. Change the block to a higher density housing. Low density commercial, it's real close to the train station. But look at this. That's the whole point of that area. This is meant to be a little bit away from the train station. And that's why I wanted this to, I want this to be low density residential. We'll try and keep the high density areas in on the side. At least that's that's what I'm thinking, Patrick. How about grunging, dirtying up those houses and adding some more? Yes. Okay. So that is, that is kind of what I'm thinking, Jester. The only thing is these assets are too well made. That's the first thing. Secondly, they are too big. You know. So relative to the rest of what's happening around these are huge i mean look at the size of this house to this bus station to this police department you know it's it seems out of place for me and that's why i want to change them i want to use i want to use these types of houses smaller two by two houses maybe give them slightly bigger lots so that they look like they've got some wealth to them but they still have the, the the whole dirty dirtiness to them and smallness. Currently in your country, Maiku, it's 10 past 10. Yep, you are on the same timeline as me. Jimmy Dog, early morning in Australia. Yebo. Yashar. Hey, Yashar can... Okay, I got a colleague and his surname is actually... Yashar. I think that's how he told me it's pronounced Yashar. I'm trying. Jaski, ah, thank you. Thank you. You're the first person that I've seen that has commented on my awesome hat. I call it my sheep. It is my comfort when it is cold. And it is a cold day today. I mean, some people will probably think it's not cold, but it is a cold day for me. All right, cool. So let's jump in. Let's jump into this our tennis court. Let me actually get a higher a higher angle. 4 p.m. in Ontario. Mark Platypus. So you in in the middle of your day, basically. Do, do, do. Let's see. So I download a couple of these tennis court assets. I'm not sure which ones I can use. So this has, this has no, this has no terror. It has no fence or, ooh, look at that. Do we have a fire department? <laughs> Guess what peeps? Okay, we do have one. All right, all right. Whew, I thought we had not placed on the fire station yet. Cool. So we good. We good. I want to see what this will look like. Let's give. Let's make it a. Oh no! Too much. What kind of color can we get for you? I don't like this color. This is a. It's a hideous color. How can we change? How can I change? Let's see, it's we. It's a bit too bright when I go in the opposite direction. How's that color? Or should I rather, instead of this, what if we do, let's get rid of this one quickly. Mike Drew, your hat is totally warranted. Cold in Joburg. Yes, for sure. Thank you very much. Fellow Joburger to let you know it's a cold day today okay let's drop this down a little bit i was hoping i could get it to a okay there we go there we go getting better 
get a bluish i want to get a bluish color something like that is what i actually want to get so it stands out nicely okay so from the houses they can from here you overlook the tennis courts if there are people playing there you can enjoy the sights uh, how long have you been playing this game how many hours you play a day oh no i don't play uh that's from Ra rahul ram 7799 so i don't well do i i do play i play every day i suppose since i try and record every day but in total i have about close to 15 hours clocked in the game so yeah i've i've been playing for a while let's let's get this area to look so i like to use these terraforming networks to get the entire place looking a bit more oh no i can't get too close can't get too close because i'll mess that up okay you know what we'll do hey we'll pull you back a little bit i mean these are rich people right it's it's feasible that somebody in this town went ahead and funded the construction of a of a tennis court like in the middle of wherever this place is but what i what i want though is i want it to look i want it to look elevated so it's i wanted i really want it to look kind of rich like they've they've decided to build this place just for the grandness of it uh, can i just do this quickly Let's get rid of that and then let's drop let's drop that habit. Where are we? Okay, so this one is too low. Let's raise that. I want it to come all the way up to yeah, all the way up to there. Ask me why I don't use terrain aligning alignment. I, I always, always forget. I will spend, I don't know how long, first doing this before I actually remember that I need to use, I can use terrain alignment. Uh, it's 30 degrees in Paris, the one in Canada. There's a Paris in Canada. Wow. I did not know that. But cool. 30 degrees. Sheesh. I hope it's not humid as well. Because nothing worse than a hot day with high humidity. Actually, since there's a bench here, we can pull this out a little bit. And we'll flip this around. So this is where the entrance is, is on the side. Okay, that makes more sense and then what we'll do is what i want to actually do is i want to take this terraforming tool i want to see if this will actually work out so if we grab this there's this new mod that has popped up on the workshop that gets rid of these black lines maybe at some point i'll give it a try I'm quite weary of new mods. If I shift this out a bit. So this is the only thing I don't I don't want the land to come out too far. But I really want this to sit like out into the river. There is a Paris in the US as well. Jeepers, it's like a Paris everywhere then, hey. Miss Miss is City Skylines the only game I am playing. 
no it's not the only game that i am playing so i am currently st i'm still playing doom eternal still love it so it's a first person shooter i'm playing i was going to say townscape but it's not really a game it's like a a little have fun with with a with a with an ai type thing so i, I quite like that one i recently got uh what's it called innocence t a tale tale something i forget what it's called but it's a it's an rpg it's a role-playing game it's an old game from from like eons a couple of years back but i'm only now getting my hands on it so i am playing that as well and what else am i playing from time to time i jump into control because control was my game of 2019 like by a mile so so quite like that i still have that sitting there and i enjoy it from time to time so those are my current whoops those are my current active games that i'm playing there's something else but i forgot it means it's not making that big of an impression on me let's push you in i just don't want so i really want this place to like stick out like this grand tennis court really going all the way out no pro best regards from germany thank you so much thank you thank you thank you i don't know if i can also say it but best regards from south africa To raise that a bit okay now i want to place down some ploppable pavement to cover up this no i did not i did not download the ploppable pavement i am such okay things to download ploppable pavement i know i put this down last week but I guess I forgot. So we are going to go with probable asphalt for now. I think it will still do the job. Let's stick these in. How far can we go? Oh, this is not straight. Look at that. Which one isn't straight? Let's see. Which is not straight. Something is not aligned properly. You definitely not aligned properly. You can probably come out just a tad bit. Eh. Let's okay. Let's grab that. Let's rotate you. Let's do that. Okay, so I want this one to just about stick out. Should I actually use a bigger one? Let's actually use a bigger one. Because a bigger one will cover more ground for what we're trying to do. Let's stick you down. Stick you up there and there. Okay. Oh, I lost chat. Mm. no car park around here no i don't i don't want a car park here i want this place to just be accessible by foot that's kind of what i want so definitely no car park remember this is this is in the fairly fairly rich area so they are not going to not any tom dick and harry can basically come here at least that's that's the thinking let's grab these and let's set that to that height uh -huh. okay 
So I just want these to poke out just a little bit. Really? Is there was was this really that low? I didn't even realize that. Okay. stick that down and then I'm going to put this last one here now this is the only problem with the fact that this is ploppable asphalt is I can't color I can't change the the texture of this area into an asphalt color with paint the painter mod really would be cool if the painter mod had asphalt as a color can you imagine how awesome that would be we could like paint over entire parking lots it only has the pavement, but uh, I don't like the way that's looking. I don't like the way this is looking. My vision is not, is not coming through as I, as I had envisioned. Hmm. What can we do to make this work? What graphics mods do you use? Oh, and hello from France. Hello, and Anton, Antoine, Antoine. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. But graphics mods, I've got obviously dynamic resolution at 200%. I have got, uh, let's see what graphics mod I've got. Where is it? post-process fx with those set the, these are all defaults the only ones that i really change is the intensity of my, of these intensity of ssao and enabling downsampling and i think radius is adjust, was adjusted i've also got classic classic daylight actually let me just let me just go through it and show you quickly so I've also got Daylight Classic enabled. Pretty much everything is enabled. I've got, oh, 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 oh. what else affects graphics? I've got ultimate level of detail. It's currently disabled. I only use it when I really zoom out. Uh, ultimate eye candy, of course. I think, oh, I've got that. Shadow distance fix it allows you to, it allows shadows to get rendered when you, when you really zoom out high in the city. And then I've got this one with those settings and I don't really bother with those. My LUT is Relight 3 Kali. Okay. Hope that helps. Let's just stick some bushes here. Right now I'm not very happy with, I'm not very happy with this. I don't like the fact that you know what? I'm just being fussy. At Sanctum, how about using the default pedestrian path instead of the park life asset? Let's see. Oh, no. Uh, so the reason why I don't use that one. Mm -hmm. It's you can't you can't elevate it. It's ground conforming, but I suppose I could then use. I could then use a terraforming tool to keep it upright. See, it's terrain conforming, so it goes all the way down, but I suppose that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so it will work. It makes it look some something, that's for sure. Let's change that. Oh, gracious me. Not very impressed. But you actually you you on some you want something. Let's shift you. So if I shift you all the way out, then all of these then come up to the right spot, right? Okay. Where is this? Is that you? There you are. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, because that that definitely does offer a lot more. A lot more in terms of what you can and cannot do so then this i can actually then take this 
can bring that in and then we can use this to raise the ground ah but then it raises the ground way too much i suppose that's the only downside it raises the ground too much okay let's get rid of that let's put it back there but this is fine the only thing that's really an issue is the lights and i don't have network extensions to remove lights from this so what can we do about you unless what we can also do is what's it called is it garden lights or something this has a name this asset has a, a very specific name which i always forget i think it's park park light or something like that nope let's go to lights let's go to props and let's see if it will pop up pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up. let's find i used to know the name of this the slide but now i forgot it there's the liberal arts one so i'm thinking we could do something we could we could make we could make it work somehow so if this sits on top of it right when it comes on at night we can basically say they bolt these lights in such a way that the bottom and the top light up problem solved that's what i'm thinking anyway so let's put you here and then we can grab that and then move it here Only thing is that it's not going to be lined up with this, which is, which is really not very cool. Am I just being fussy? I probably I'm just being fussy. Hey, but it's fine. Let's do this. Let's let's keep it. Do I have soldiers fence? Yay! Okay, cool. I have this fence. If I have this fence, then I'm not going to really bother. We can put that down and then we can grab these and stick them on the edge so there is some protection for people to not just go flying off you've got to protect people from themselves Honestly, this build that really was meant to just be a near vanilla build has turned into a detailing build. That is the direction that River Valley is taking. Pop. And lastly, pop. What's nice is I think because these fans are not terrain conforming and they virtually straight. Once I'm done with them, then I can actually align the walls to them. Because then I'm guaranteed that I have a straight line. Malan Tube, thank you so much for that contribution. Straight to the GPU. Thank you, thank you. I had said that if you popped up on the stream again, I was going to reveal who you were. So for those who don't know, which is pretty much nobody, Malan Tube is actually my manager at work. Can you imagine that? And he is so awesome that he actually jumps onto my streams and donates. So Malan Tube, thank you. Thank you so much. Really, really, really appreciate it. You guys should show him some love because he's really awesome. Let's stick a couple of benches down. I kind of figured this area will have, will be, what's this thing? Um, like just a, a, a chill spot for lots of people. Well, not lots of people, but just the people in general. 
so they'll have a place that they can just come they can just chill i want to stick down a couple of these as well yeah a room super nice manager that's the Milan tube. Let's stick that there and let's stick that there. Do we have any umbrellas? Yeah, we have some umbrellas. We'll stick one or two down and then I'm really disappointed though that I don't have the ploppable the ploppable concrete or the ploppable pavement, let me rather say. I mean, this is in the middle of nowhere. So for those of you that want to sit and chill, you can you sit and you chill there. For those that want to enjoy the sun, you can sit and chill there. Now, how do we make this area nice? What if we put down some decals? What decals do we do we have? We got not too dark. Did I manage an OG sh shack for me? I definitely downloaded the shack. The shacks for sure. I definitely got that. So let's grab that. I'm just I'm just trying to figure out how we can make this entire area look a little more. Just give the whole place just a little bit more vavavu, man. That's such South African lingo, is it? So vavavum. Okay, that's something. That's that's a that's something. It's it's not wow, but it's something. I don't want to do that there. I don't want to do the same thing. Just a look at the whole thing from afar. Don't you think it's a bit much for only one court? I am thinking two to three courts might look better. Wah. Two to three courts. But this is not supposed to be for like the whole place. That's the thing. This is not this is not like you know some two sloshed up area. It's a couple of rich folk that are chilling here. Hey Daddy H, welcome, welcome. And they happen to have a single tennis court that they enjoy is this game with so many mods and assets laggy as you can see not very laggy not yet okay moxie at some point it will get laggy city of tando and Normansburg are nothing like this they are laggy but the lag, in all honesty, is as a result of how big or small the actual city is. And this, by comparison, is tiny. I mean, there's, what, 650 people. It's not a lot. All right. Uh, what else can I add here? I want to add some planters. Let's add some planters. Look, look. Oh, okay. There we go. I thought I didn't have any planters. Can we have one or two on the side? Should I add planters or should I just leave it plain? Because what I'm thinking is, do we have? Yes, we've got to you. So I actually want to put something like this down. No, why would they put? Why would they put barbed wire on top of this? There wouldn't be barbed wires on top of on top of this sanctum gear some of your trademark rocks and nature detailing around the base of that stone wall will add much more character noted mag drew will definitely get down there and do that i want i wish this fence didn't have didn't have like barbed wire on top of it because you often find on the tennis courts, there's a bigger, it's like big fences 
for those that don't know how to play tennis who decide they're going to go and smack balls and then they smack the balls right out of the court. In this case, you can imagine some poor souls losing a lot of balls. But ah, it's fine. Let's get some let's get some 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 detailing around the bottom areas here down. So now here's what I'm also thinking is if I'm going to put some rocks around here. I wouldn't want to put them too close to the stone wall though because in my mind they would have had to clear out all of those in order to actually build a structure like this, right? So it wouldn't make sense to see rocks sitting right here. It would mean that they they poured concrete on top of these rocks, which wouldn't make sense. Why is that? Why is this dead person not being picked up? Do I not have... I have the crematorium. None of them are active. But I have a dead person. Ugh, I'm probably getting this bug again. I hate I hate dealing with dead people, guys. I'm going to get I'm going to get a mod to just get rid of that. Like it's the worst. I think there's a bug with this road. This road. Or it's network extensions in general. Because I always have my cities performing optimally. And the moment I install network extensions, all my hearses stop working. I don't know, has anybody else experienced that? All my hearses stop working as soon as, as soon as I install network extensions, and I think the 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 actual road asset is preventing, is messing up with the hearse AI. I tried so many things years ago, way back in the little town days, with traffic manager and improved hearse API. I, I mean. <laughs> Hers AI and so on, it just it all doesn't work. And I'm just I'm I'm over it. So I'm going to go and get my trademark mod for dealing with dead people. It's a really cool mod. I forget what it's called now. But what it does is that it takes anytime there's a dead person in your city, they automatically despawn and that dead person is basically replaced with a baby. So your population basically never goes down. It's very it's really awesome. Um let's see what's happening here. How do you feel? Look like I missed a lot. How do I feel? I'm cold. You know, I mean I'm sure this gave it away. I'm cold. I've got a little heater sitting next to me down here just to keep me warm. It's a it's a nice chilly day here in Joburg today. It are gaming all the way from Texas. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You don't seem to get similar issues with my mod assets. Oh, I envy you actually. For me, it's this. It's it's network extensions. As soon as I put down a network extensions road, all my dead people, all of them, just stop getting picked up. But you know what? I think it might... I think I know what might be the cause here. The issue here is I've got... I've got an invisible road here to allow me to place these. So it's possible that this one just has no road access at all, which is probably why that is there. I think that's what's happening in this case. I had to make my mother to get... Had to take to get vaccinated in Chile, Joburg weather today. Yeah, hey. Uh, okay, let's, let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's get some... Let's get some of these. Let's put them. Let's just get the actual side. Let's get the actual <laughs> A2R gaming. Thank you. I'll, I'll remember those words. That's the best advice I've ever had. I'll, I'll tell you that much. 
So we get some rocks into the river. Because this is quite a fast flowing river. So I really want it. I really want the edge of the river to have a lot of a lot of these rocks and stones. The overgrown grass in between is just fantastic. When you do it at the right depth, you just have these these things popping out and I love that look that's that is a look for me when you see when you see that coupled with this asset towards the shoreline because there's so many things that make up this asset I think it is it just adds so much to to the to the water and the shorelines it's it's amazing this is what i like really gives the place some nice life mr lungelo gigaba thank you so much for that donation it's been a while since i've seen you on the stream good sir it's nice to see you again thank you thank you thank you much appreciated Let's get this in play. Oh, I love it. This, this, I like, I like seeing the grass popping, popping through the rocks. But I think, let me go back to, to these ones. Hello, Apple Juice Adam. How are you doing this wonderful, is it evening? It's evening for me. I'm not sure what time of day it is for you, but I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Hang on, I'm pretty sure I saw you. You had left a message on the chat like very early on, or was I was I dreaming? I was probably dreaming. I was probably seeing it in in a different in a different stream. We can then get some. So in and around this area you can definitely imagine the area being overgrown let me stick this here rather i think these will will fit better around the rocks i mean ugh, the so it means this place has been here for quite a while and uh, what other that thing can we put down let's put down some of these i want i want something that will actually pop pop out of pop out of the the water how tall are you no you're too thick these ones are too thick and this is too flat so my best bet is actually this asset either way it's fine i like it i don't mind yeah that's pretty cool get some foliage going there Can I put down? It's evening for you too. Oh, awesome. Good evening. I don't want stones. Let's get rocks. And then we can put one or two in and around here for it to pop out. I think that's all right. I really want the edge of the river to look to look like this. Let me make a note of on here. Uh, download death death controlling mod. Let me see. I really don't want to deal with dead sims. I've I've come to hate it very much, very very much. And then finally, let's give this place. Nope. Yeah, you could work. And what are you? What kind of asset are you? I think you can sit closer to where there's actually no water. And you can sit around here as well. Which one is this? I don't want this area to have too many trees. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. 
This place is still a little too plain for my taste. But ah, it's fine. It's fine for now. I think I think this is we've made a decent progress here. I want to jump out into into the the actual desert for us to do a different build for a change. I'm tired of building houses, so I want to build something different. Is Aria is Aria gone to bed? Oh, good night, Aria. Thank you so much for joining. I think you said it was like half past one for them, so perfectly understandable. Sam from Indonesia. Hello, hello. Kayan, thank you. Let me. What about a small shed for equipment? What about a small shed for equipment? Let's see. Do we have any sheds? We have sheds, but not nice ones. Is this too nice for here? Is it too big, maybe? This is too. I think that's too run down. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. I think this will work. Let's stick this one down. Boom. Nope. What is that? Decals. Let's get rid of the decals. Let's stick it right up against. Right up against here. Oh no. Lift it out a little bit. There we go. We got that. Mandan Mori. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the donation towards a graphics card it's going straight to that graphics card so just let me let me actually give you some feedback on that so to date thanks to all your donations we are sitting at just shy of in south african rand it's just shy of seven thousand rand worth of donations that i've received from you seven thousand rand is about five hundred dollars I think so yeah your generosity is getting is getting us there in total I have about just over 10,000 rand saved so far plus my own contributions into the pot so that is about $700 so far saved so yeah excited at some point we're gonna get it we basically at 4k monitor level now so now i can actually acquire a 4k monitor which is cool the graphics card itself so a an rtx 3080 is ridiculously expensive it's here in south africa at the last time i checked it was forty thousand rand which is about three thousand dollars is that too much Probably a little less than $3,000. But that's an RTX 3090. That's pricey, right? But that that's the goal. You always aim for the best. And you get the best, right? <laughs> so the aim is to save up as much as possible for as long as possible. As long as my graphics cards will keep carrying, will keep going. But if it decides to bomb out on me before, before we get enough savings for the 3090, then we will get whatever else we can we're definitely in a 3080 range or a 2080 ti range so that's actually quite good so thank you all so much project full circuit thank you thank you thank you really appreciated going straight straight to that graphics card as well that 4k monitor it's coming people it's coming thank you thank you thank you Mandan Murray, we are far from the RTX 3060. We are out of stock in the US now. It's up $3,100 for the 3060. Oh my word. I'm sure by the time the 3090s then come back, these are going to be through the roof. It's ridiculous how that has actually turned out. Eh? How, how people basically have bought all of these cards and now... The actual gamers that want the cards can't get hold of them. It's so sad. Look at that, everybody. I saved today without being reminded to save. What about a trellis or shading structure? 
You mean here? Should we put a trellis here? Eh, you know what? Why not? Let's see. Do we have any trellis? We, well, we've got my favorite trellis. Let's see. But if we put a trellis, right? We should have... Ah, this is actually not bad. I like this. I actually like the way this looks. Way more than I thought I would. How many of you there thought I was going to put the trellis over the tennis courts? Who was getting ready to say, not on the tennis courts? Uh, the price is going to sky because of the coin mining. Yeah, hey. But I read an article the other day that NVIDIA is actually putting in blockers to make sure that the graphic the the cards don't perform as well in when it comes to mining anymore just to try and deter this because there's been a huge outcry from the gaming community about about those who have bought who have bought the cards just for mining and now gamers don't have it so i read somewhere that nvidia is actually going to manually block the the graphics cards but not that they can't be used for mining they can but they just won't be as efficient as they currently are so as to deter the miners i think if they can do something like that oh that would be that would be fantastic because jeepers guys the cards are just nowhere to be found Uh, where did that come from? Mike Drew, what do you think of what do you think of the trellis? I think that's actually that actually fits in very nicely. That was a very good idea. I think that was a very good idea. I rebuilt my computer a few years ago for about two thousand dollars total. Yes, so that my current my current rig is was also rebuilt at the end of my little town series. That's about a year and a half ago. Also for the approximate price of two thousand dollars, but that was without a graphics card upgrade. So I I didn't want to get the RTX card. The RTX twenties are the ones that were out at the time. I didn't want to get those because they had just introduced ray tracing and I always have this thing that the first generations of cards that come out with the new technology tend to be buggy and Nvidia learns from it and then they improve on it in the next range and that's why I was waiting for the 30 range. That's why I, I actually purposely skipped that upgrade. But in so doing, I pumped up my CPU quite a lot, so I don't need to worry about that again anytime soon. So yeah, for crypto mining, you really need the dedicated mining units. Normal GPUs are nowhere near powerful enough today. But I hear, I hear though that these RTX 3090s, 3080s are monsters at the mining. That's what I heard. Hey, is it cold? Aquascaping. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Okay, cool. Everybody, we're going to leave this place behind for a bit. I think this has turned out this has turned out alright. I like the trellis. I think the trellis the trellis around here adds a lot to it. I was thinking about putting like a pathway all the way to the end and through there but i think that's overkill we'll leave it at this for now and we are going to jump all the way out here and i want to even though we already have it i don't care but i want to build a solar farm around here now the solar farm was suggested by somebody long ago very early on in the stream when oops when people were given ideas of the sort of things they would like to see and so on. Now, unfortunately, I can't remember who made the suggestion. And I would really like to name 
name the solar farm after the the suggester, but I just I don't remember. And to go and dig through the chats, and I don't even remember which stream it happened in. So to say I'm going to go dig through the chats is just not going to be feasible. So I hope whoever that person, if you are on the stream, let me know. If not, if you catch the stream after this, let me know who you are so that we can we can definitely name this place after you because I think it was a really good idea. So let's let's see what we can do. I don't know if we'll finish it in this stream. Let's see how far we can get in the next hour or so. Now what I want is I want this I want this farm to be quite big, right? So I wanted to occupy this this entire space. That I wanted to to have a bit of a shape. So let's get this chappy. So I'm gonna take this chappy and I'm going to use I'm going to use this chappy as a as a reference. In fact, I'll actually probably keep this. I'll actually keep this because solar farms tend to why in the world does this have trees in it? Why? This just ruined this asset for me. Uh Hello again from Brazil, Sanctum. Hello, Wagner. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see to see what what AMD comes up with for sure. Uh, apple juice, Adam. Yes, there will be a desert town at some point i do not know anything about building a desert town so yeah we're going to see what's going to happen when we come around to doing that but i've got chat to help me out so i'm not too stressed i'm not too stressed let's do 10 no that's not enough let's do 15 okay so 15 by 15 15 by 15 cool so that's a nice starting point i'm actually going to get rid of this and build my own my own station where the electricity actually eventually winds up in because i'm not very happy with what this asset looks like at the moment so let's put you out there so like I, so what i want is i want it to be to come around in a circle but i think i'm gonna sh a semicircle sorry i'm gonna shift this out and then do a a full sweep of about 270 degrees f just filled with solar panels and then the 90 degree space in between we will put where basically the battery or the storage units would be and then work out how this will get will get pumped out will they have, oh okay okay so let's do this let's let's grab let me grab uh, let me grab that let's, let's move you here oh no Wait, what? Oh, is it move it that's just being silly? Move it is just being silly. Hey, look at that. There's a plane going by. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's see. Or maybe not 270 degrees. Maybe we can do 200 degrees. Leave a bigger space and then maybe the, the remaining will make it look like they're still planning to build. Ian Hardy, yes. So this is really inspired by by City Walk. I think what City Walk what City Walk does with that Mars series is ridiculously good. Like ridiculously good. So definitely definitely an inspiration. 
how am I going to do this? So I had ow. So we got, let me push here, let me take you to 60. And the easiest way to actually do this calculation is to do that. All the way up to 60 out. And then 60 across, 60 down. So I'm just doing some measurements. I actually don't even know if it's going to fit perfectly. I hope it fits perfectly. And then let's do that. And then we can get rid of all these. Get rid of all of that. Cool. So I did a a solar panel, a solar farm in in Little Town when I first when I st what that was that was the main power source of Little Town. Eh? It was a solar farm, and I quite liked it actually. Now. I want to see how this is the only this is my only real gripe is to fit these around in a nice manner I am going to need to include these smaller ones Ooh, no uh gotta run Thank you, thank you, Jester. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Oh, we can use this. We can use these ones. But who? So now this is not a. This is not a video, which means I can't cut any of this out, which means everybody that's here is going to be sitting and watching me place down solar panels for the next 20 years. A room I saved as soon as we finished the, the tennis court. So yay. Okay. Just want to see something. How will this fit? Mm, Can let me check something before I continue here. I want to see if because to do this is going to be hectic and I think if I remember right didn't I want to see something does anybody know if City Walk published his his solar panel assets without the cleaning without the cleaning network that runs on top of it because that would be awesome to make my life so much easier these solar farm networks ah it's a complete road so it's got the it's got the things moving on it the whole time. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. I was hoping 
I was hoping he published just the solar just the solar panel assets without the without the vehicles running on top of them which is because this this is this is not going to work out this is going to require so much okay you know what i you know what i'll do actually you know what i'll do let's let's do this let's change let's change tactics because who are we if we are not improvisers let's change tactics a bit so instead of instead of circular which is fine circular would have looked very good but we can make it a grid and still make it look good okay so we're gonna try that we're gonna try a grid and see what we can do about making it still look fairly decent Uh, how long? Half hour is that? That was 10 units. Okay. So this is still just serving as a point of reference. I'm very likely not going to keep that. Okay, let's stick. Let's stick these down, shall we? Boom. Stick it right there. Right there. Okay, where are we? Is everything so... No, did I not terraform this far out? I guess I didn't terraform this far out. Let's terraform further out. But the rest of the area is well terraformed. Okay, cool, great. Now let's grab... All of those. And then to object height. What's your opinion on Star Wars? You mean the Star Wars movies? Oh, I, I, I don't have a problem with the Star Wars movies. I actually watch the Star Wars movies. I think they're pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a a space loving person, I suppose. I like anything that. Basically allows me to travel to the stars because I in, in our lifetime it's not going to happen and the odds that we will even travel between galaxies is highly improbable. So yeah. I'm I'm a I'm a fan of, of I wouldn't say I'm a fan, but I like the Star Wars universe. It's it's a nice it's a nice place to escape to. And please don't ask me Star Wars or Star Trek. I watch both. I do not have an issue with any. I do not see one being better than the other. I enjoy it either way. <laughs> you know what we're doing right now? We're killing. Ah, but who cares? This is not about money. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Did I miss anything? Are you going to make a Blade Runner 2049 style? There is one called Solar Panel Array in the workshop. I don't know which one that is. I'll check it out and see. Morning Talonin. Welcome, welcome. You just got home. Dude, isn't it like 7 a.m.? Must have been one heck of a night out, eh? Very nice. Welcome, welcome. So, Lungelo, I, I actually... This is something that I always wonder. In in real life, how do they clean the solar panels? 
Why am I so not solar panels facing that way? I don't want you to face that way. I want you to face inward. Does anybody know how solar panels are actually cleaned in real life? I haven't done any research for this. I just decided to literally, literally, what? And two hours before the stream, I was like, I'm tired of building houses. Let's just build something slightly different today. So I have not done any research on solar panels. Yes, indeed. Great night out. Now I have to keep me going. <laughs> now I have coffee to keep me going. Okay. Nice. The Blade Runner 24 Night Star Solar Array is a large circular one. Really? Let's see. Let's see if I can if I can see anything on the workshop right now. Quickly. Before. Let me type Blade Runner. Oh, well, nothing popped up there. Okay, let's see. Solar array. Solar panel array. There we go. So I see these and these. No, but these are the ones that I have actually. Looking at those, these are the ones that I have. Uh, am I mistaken? I don't know. I might be mistaken, but I will. I will keep. I will keep that there. Keep that in mind, and have a have a look at it. <laughs> Irrigation thingamabobs. I look yellow. I I I I strongly doubt. Well, you know what? Let me not say I strongly. I don't know. I don't know. But irrigation thingamabobs. You think you'll be squirting water on these things? Or think about bobs that look like irrigation things, but they're actually just blowing air. Interesting. Why is the root so so low? Let's do let's just grab everything. Let's grab everything. And make it that height. There we go. All right, cool. So we're getting somewhere. Let's let's do this. Uh, 